How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys how we can access the dark web safely. Now, of course, there are lots of nuances when it comes to accessing the dark web. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you should just go to the dark web and connect to the Tor project right here. Of course, after you download it to your own uh, device, whatever device you're using, and use your own IP address to connect to it, especially if you're in a super censorship or restrictive or surveillance heavy country where or you might get some unwanted attention for accessing the dark web. Now, of course, a major benefit to using the dark web is anonymity. However, this only extends as far as the network. Your ISP, for example, can see you're accessing it and could report it to the authorities, even if you're not doing anything illegal, since the dark web and the Tor browser are typically associated with illicit activities. But of course, there are plenty of benefits to using the dark web, since the dark web gives people living in countries under heavy censorship a chance to to communicate openly without risk of exposure. You know, you can also expose criminals or corrupt public figures anonymously. You can buy products cheaper. You know, you can research a lot of things that may not be available on the regular web. You can communicate anonymously again, but that only extends as far as the Tor browser in and of itself, because your ISP can still tell they're using your own IP address to connect to the dark web. So what you wanna do in this case is not only encrypt your browser, by using the dark web and become anonymous while you're surfing but you also encrypt your entire traffic your entire network by using a vpn so i've tested over a couple of dozen vpns and i've narrowed it down to these three is the best overall but they all vary in budgets and features so pick and choose depending on your own preferences and situation uh, of course, you know, I've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark, all of which will do very well in censorship heavy countries. But if you're specifically in China, I would just recommend that you go with Express VPN. That is the best option for China. Uh, okay, so with regards to accessing the dark web, after you download the browser itself, what you want to do is simply start the Tor browser. You'll get a file that looks like this. But before you do that, let's say I'm going to connect to Ireland right here, right? And I'm going to go to my IP finder. And you'll notice that when I look it up here, what is my IP? It'll show as if I'm in Ireland. So, you know, as far as the internet is concerned, I am in Dublin. Uh, so when you start the dark web, you want to connect to the VPN first when you start the Tor browser and then start the connection. You can establish a connection safely and you can be sure that your ISP cannot know what you're doing online, not just on the Tor browser, but all over your network. Your connection, everything you're doing is now encrypted and you can safely engage in the Tor browser or whatever else you're trying to do. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you guys out if you guys are interested in any of these vpns or if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security features you'll find everything you need in the description down below including links to pricing discounts and full reviews and they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can test drive these vpns for 30 days risk-free besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day